What's going on, folks? Hope you're all having a good afternoon. I am. I was going to video some stuff earlier, but there was a funeral happening at the church that I joined from property. I didn't want to disturb nobody walking around. <clears throat> uh, last video I said I was going to do a walkthrough of some of my projects and some of the things I've already done. So, flip. This here's backyard landscape. I pulled up a bunch of those variegated liripe grasses that was uh, already there. Put them around these trees. I added those trees in. Popped up some Nandinas that were here. Fire powers. They're up front in front of the carport now. But I excavated out all this dirt. In this backyard it was all grass. Those stepping stones were already there, covered up with grass and dirt. Had to pop them back out and clean them up. Then when I got done, put down some base, some of this rock. Made that nice border. Just some bricks that was left over from whatever project that happened around here at some point. That was a bench swing I got from my wife for Christmas. I don't know, a couple years ago. Probably last year. Last year for Christmas and finally got it up sometime in October, I believe. When I, those are reclaimed posts from uh, tearing down a chicken house. And I believe <clears throat> those little lanterns got some solar light stuffed in them. I think I got those on clearance at one of the big box hardware stores. I used to work at uh, this is my building shop yeah this is my shop once uh we moved in here this patio wasn't there i built that deck going across to the building the door was actually more to the right it wasn't centered with the walkway I think there was like a window kind of where the door's at, sort of. Anyway, it bothered me a lot, so I had to move it. Tore the wall down, tore a lot of stuff down, moved the door over, put it all back together. The window was broke anyway, just got rid of it. My wife got me a outdoor screen and projector for Christmas last year, so naturally I didn't actually get it put up until you know, around Christmas this year. We had a annual viewing of christmas vacation out here on it I keep continuing around i kept going with this bricks and put another one of those trees in their vitexes we uh put them in so they grow up and shade us from this afternoon sun you see up there <clears throat> walk over here a little ways this is playground i kind of put together for my kids made a lot of it out of a previously existing playground that was already here but had to replace on it a little bit and this replaced this board because it had a gigantic bow in it and that's the swing set that came off the other one i originally drugged the old one over here to try to use but so much of that softwood was rotten i couldn't couldn't stomach doing it so i just like took all the hardware off of it and built this platform climbing wall added the slide back to it got swings cleaned up and added a new one stairs were in decent shape so i cut them to fit this new setup i'm going to have to come over here and do a little bit more work to this and the kid the three-year-old kind of wants a tree house so i'm going to build him topping some sides on that platform most of that wood some of it was from the old swing set a lot of it uh recovered out of the waterway after uh one of the last hurricanes but recently you see all this piled up pine straw I recently raked this stuff out and had my stepson come and add some more of those border grasses in most of them got dug up out of this spot here it was a rose garden um removing everything from here saving whatever i can or want to and then i'm going to come over here with the tractor and 
scrape this dirt down, level it all out. I want that, that line just to flow around the place set like that. Um, let's see. I've got some mulch saved up to go back around, under all that. So all this uh, straw, I'm going to rake it up. Probably save on it too. I believe whenever I plant my wife's pumpkin patch, I'm going to spread the straw out. When the pumpkins start coming up and let the pumpkins rest on the straw it'll keep them from rotting at least that's what i have heard anyway this spot over here is where the playground was before i drug it to the back corner and replaced on it um, the wife wanted a hydrangea spot hydrangeas typically lack some shade so, planted her one, two, three, four, five of them in here. And uh, somebody gave me that bench. And it had some wood rotting on it. Got it in the shop and cut some new pieces for it. Sanded it down, painted it back up. It's been sitting out here for a while. So, apparently, the birds have been using it. If I can zoom in too much, you'll see where I didn't do such a great job painting. But uh, check this guy out. I made this for Christmas decoration. It was just a long limb that I got clearing some brush out of somebody's yard. Flower pot, bag of concrete, uh, pipe that I found in the shop, cut it stuffed the limb in there and we had some solar it was a solar light tree just chilling hanging out over here i drug the solar panel lights to this spot right here and it got a good amount of sun because it tracks east to west sets over there comes up somewhere over here got something to go in that uh bed over there by the road i'm gonna show y'all in another video So coming up over here, some more of a, this was all grass whenever we got here, but carved it out, made a walkway. As you can see, I need to come out here and do some weed killer. And I'm gonna trim my grasses up before spring so they come back nice and green. There's those Nandinas I was talking about earlier. I just planted them over here. Uh, the walkway comes like this goes back around the house uh, planted that guy and extended this bed added some more trees if you look at uh, some of these flower beds over here these old big azaleas I want to cut these down significantly there's a dog one in there I want to try to dig up and transplant elsewhere some of that stuff just needs to leave up here in this particular azalea there's a lot of althea growing around it and i want to transplant on some of these if possible and some of them are probably going to stick in a pot maybe sell on there's my driveway need to do some tinkering on it definitely needs a little cleaning all right so i cut these crepe myrtle stalks and got these here solar lights and lined the curve bed edge with it looks pretty cool out here at night i think i eventually want to hang some of those uh I don't remember what they're called, but the lights up somehow between the porch and the building. And speaking of, it was pretty cruddy looking over here. We got over here it was dirt, dirt in this ditch. I had even pressure washed the bottom of the building where it was just crappy looking. 
and then put the rock down that's some oysters a few oyster parties that we had over the past couple of years came out with it on this side too about need to start cleaning it out getting some weed sprayed used to be a pasture back here and took down the electric fence still got some posts and actually there's some wire there if you can see it I want to this is where we were a while ago the swing set I want to get this area scraped out and that uh, dead azalea remove that get rid of the stump and smooth this down to a swell where I can come straight from one place to another when I'm mowing I'm not a hundred percent sure what's gonna happen with this area right here yet we've got a pool that we're considering putting up but the wife doesn't really want it back here and I don't particularly want it anywhere else because it'd be a more pain to maintenance and as you can see I've got several things that needs doing with this building here that's where I was talking before about wanting to put a chicken coop that used to be where, where a horse stable was yeah, you can hear the donkey in the background yelling right now I'm sure but I'm thinking about dividing that up and putting the chickens on one side and maybe the dog on the other and this here an old grapevine needs standing back up cleaning then you hear my kid crying in the background not sure what that's about but mom is doing with it but the I have to take down the wire all the way here I want to clean this ditch bank up limb up some of these trees and plant blueberry bushes kind of along this at least in part of the places and these were old apple trees that my grandmother had planted this was my, my grandparents property we just purchased it two a little over two years ago There's a couple of pecan trees already back here that steak there's marking a pear my wife bought me last year but I'd, I'd like to get another tree or two kind of continue in the fill in with some more apples blueberries get a garden going back here eventually and this spot over here was where two two grain bins used to sit somebody gave me those dog panels kennel panels I got some roof and tin saved there and I got these clear panels here this is where I want to put my greenhouse I'm probably gonna span it just about as big of a rectangle as I can get on these circular pads they're poured funny so it's probably gonna be 10 by 20 something there's the donkey you heard while I go and there's a big cooker we need to put some tires on and move and clean up put to use yeah our property goes out to that middle stake kind of point no that stake goes to that stake over there beyond the donkey he's probably actually tied to it but it goes from there follows that line over to that post one of those posts but my wife and I think that this might be a neat little spot to put up a tiny house and I'd like to try off grid I think if we put some solar panels over here pointing that direction where the sun you know, travels this way all day long sets over here see if we get the panels pointed out in this direction we collect a good amount of energy but we're in North Carolina and um, I don't believe the wife's gonna be happy in a 
off-grid cabin if we can't figure out some air conditioning. Can't say that I'm gonna be stellar about it either. So we'll have to look into the energy requirements and how big of a structure she can live with. Because I could probably live substantially smaller than she's willing to. But you know, that's that's something we're just gonna have to talk about. But uh got several other projects I'll just pull it up. There's a landscape truck we're working on right now. I'm gonna do a separate video for that and I'll take you on the inside of the shop. Point two. Uh, a lot of stuff needs going on around here. A lot of, a lot of stuff happening, or needs to happen. But stay tuned. Uh, when I start something, uh, I'll uh, let you in on it. Y'all have a good one. Peace out.